Hey, hi, hello, welcome back again to my channel. Today we're going to talk about some unbelievable facts about engineering. Doesn't it sound interesting? At number one, Calvin Joe lived in Sierra Leone and is known for teaching himself engineering at the age of 13. Oh my god, at the age of 13? So cool, right? So when we used to go to the universities and being taught by professors, we just literally learned engineering a bit. Look at this guy who was around 13 years and he himself taught him engineering and he built his own radio station where he plays music and broadcasts news under the name DJ Focus. Super cool. He also built batteries, generators and transmitters out of scrap metal. At number 2. Terry, a Davis creator of the free operating software Temple OS was diagnosed with schizophrenia in his late 20s. Davis created the software because he believed God commanded him to do it. He was able to finish most of the software by himself before his untimely death in 2018. Sorry about Mr. Terry Davis. At number 3. Dennis Ritchie, who invented the C programming language, co-founder of the Unix operating system and is largely regarded as influencing a part of every software system we use on a daily basis. He died one week after Steve Jobs, which is why his death was largely overshadowed and ignored. At number 4. The Coffertown Technique The Coffertown Technique is used for building the foundation for a bridge. In this method, a wall enclosing an area is built inside the water and water is continuously pumped out from the area. After that, the foundation of the bridge is constructed inside the coffer dam. Bridges built using this technique are strong and carry heavy loads. At number 5 Have you ever heard about a musical sculpture which is located in England? No, right? So, here's the news about the musical sculpture. There's a musical sculpture called the Singing Ringing Tree. Doesn't the name itself sound awesome? So this Singing Ringing Tree built atop a hill in England. When wind blows through the pipes, it creates an airy musical hum. At number 6. In Nashville, Tennessee, a developer is building a 1960s inspired indoor drive-in. Complete with classic cars to sit in. At number 7, a city of Holland, Michigan has 168 miles of tubing coils underneath its streets circulating hot water in order to melt any snow on the ground. At number 8, roundabouts. Roundabouts achieve a 90% reduction in fatal collisions when compared to traditional stop sign or signal controlled intersections. They also lower wait times and save on gas. At number 9, there are 30 kilometers of tunnel underneath downtown Toronto connecting shops, subways, stations and restaurants so people do not need to go outside in the heat and snow. At number 10, Canada's can-do nuclear reactors which are designed to use fuel from decommissioned nuclear weapons can be refueled while running at full power and are considered among the safest and most cost-effective in the world. At number 11, there is an organization called Engineers Without Borders that works to improve infrastructure and engineering practices in developing countries. At number 12, Datmos Clock, a mechanical torsion pendulum clock which gets the energy it needs to run from temperature and air pressure changes in the environment and can run for many years without human intervention. A temperature variation of only 1 degree is sufficient for 2 days operation. At number 30, Carmel. Indiana has replaced almost all of their traffic lights by roundabouts. This led to an estimated 40% decrease in all accidents and 90% in fatal ones saving about $1,80,000 because of lower maintenance cost and several thousands of gallons of gas per roundabout per year. At number 14, here's something interesting which you wouldn't believe happened. In 1944, Russia captured an American B-29 bomber. Stalin demanded exact clones be made for the Russian Air Force. 
A small hole was found on the left wing of the captured aircraft as a result of a manufacturing mistake. All Russian Tu-4 bombers included the unnecessary hole in the left wing. <laughs> At number 15, the nut that holds the main rotor of a helicopter to its mast is known as the Jesus nut. Because if it were to fail during the flight, the rotor would detach and the only thing left for the crew to do would be to pray to Jesus. Amen. That's all for today's unbelievable facts. So see you tomorrow with some other interesting videos. Please do subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. Thank you.